So in total, it's now four good weeks because she had the conjure braid in for two weeks. And then after two weeks, we did the protective hairstyle with the crochet braid. And she also had that one in for two weeks. So in total, it's four weeks. So whenever I do protective hairstyle for the kids, the max is four weeks. Four weeks, you're supposed to have it in. After four weeks, we're taking it down. So it was four weeks mark. And today I was like, okay, let's take it down and then go through the entire process of washing day i detangle the hair i deep conditioner i do hot hot oil treatments and then i wash the hair i moisturize and i do a protective hairstyle again because she's still very young she's still she's five years of age she's not really a fan of doing her hair especially when it comes to wash the wash day is a it's a struggle because she doesn't like the water to touch her face i don't know but it's just very difficult to wash your hair without the water touching your face. For her, she does. She just don't want the water on her face. So wash day can take the whole of the day. So what I did today is I just moved the hair and I detangled the hair. And then it was the next day we went in for wash day. And then wash day deep conditioner all of those things and then the next day i went in for protective hairstyle because i just couldn't have everything done in one day because you're gonna have her cry the whole time and i just don't want to see her crying every single time so i did do it step by step so friday i took out the protective hairstyle make sure i detangle the hair deep conditioner saturday i do whatever i need to do if I need to deep conditioner, wash. And then on Sunday is where I will do the braiding just to split the time so that she doesn't have to cry the whole day. And also she doesn't have to sit down the whole day because she's still very young and she's still not used to sitting down and doing her hair. But she will be so happy when I'm done with the hairstyle. So what I was doing while the hair was on protective hairstyle, I have this new DIY oil that I'm experimenting on. I was using this on her hair and I was also going in with my clove hairspray that I'm also using just to keep the hair moisturized. And that is what I was doing. And she was really happy when the crochet braid was out. I was just trying to scratch the head and she was like, yeah, I use crochet, I use the the clove water just to keep the hair moisturized you know because when your hair is in protective hair style, sometimes it's kind of dry out and i just spray it a little bit not too much because you don't want the hair to be wet but just spray a little bit so after that i'm just going to now take off the braids and gonna, just gonna do it slowly i didn't take everything off in one day take a little bit off let her play a little bit let her do her own thing and then come back take a little bit off <laughs> Plan. just how we do it with the old with the, with the older girl i do everything in one day but with her i can't she's nine years and she's just five years so of course she has she's now used to doing her hair and she really wants to do her hair to go to school to show new hair but she wants to do her hair but she just don't want to sit so this is us the next day i'm going in with my onions oil that i make so i normally use this oil whenever i'm ready to do a deep conditioner or deep oil treatment i use this oil the smell of this oil is not the best the kids doesn't really like the smell because you really smell the onions but it's really really good um for the kids for the scalp it's really good especially when you have a long uh, protective hairstyle like this in your head it helps with the dandruff it helps with the dry scalp i really really loved it so i like to like distribute the oil in the hair and then i will go in with my finger and just massage the hair i also had a little bit of deep conditioner over um from the jamaican black castor oil deep conditioner i still have a little bit remain and i also decided to use that on the hair it wasn't much anymore but i decided to just use that on the hair with the oil and then just wrap everything and um i also like to put the oil at the ends because the ends of the hair is like the oldest part of the hair and it tends to break a lot for some people i don't really have that issue because of this because of what i have been doing so i like to like drop some few oils at the end and then i like to take a glove just a normal glove and i'll wrap the, the i'll wrap the glove at the end just to keep the oil 
um, at the end of the hair just to make sure the oil penetrates at the end of the hair and then what I will also do I will let her play do her things and then later on five minutes or ten minutes before wash I will let her sit underneath the steaming cap um, I didn't show that because yeah I was I just let her do it I was doing other things so I didn't really make a video of that part but I let her sit under the steaming cap so that the oil can really penetrate into the hair and then after that we just do a wash day i didn't really show you guys how i wash the hair like i said washing her hair is a struggle because she doesn't want the water to touch her face but i am so i don't know how how i'm going to do this with swimming lessons because she's going to start swimming lessons very soon finally they have a space now for her to start swimming the swimming lesson here is a wait list you have to wait for ages so finally i got a call they're like yeah we have a space for her now she can start swimming and i'm just like um, i'm just like curious to know just to see how the swimming is going to look like because she doesn't want water on her face so i know definitely the first five to ten lessons my money is just going away because she's, 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 she's the, by the first five to ten lessons of the swimming my money is just going away i'm just going to sacrifice that money for her to get over that um anxiety of the water touching her face which of course i know it's going to take uh, time for her to just get over it but yeah i'm really happy now that she can go to swim and hopefully she can learn to she can learn pass through that and also wash hair day can be more fun for the both of us because now wash hair day is really not fun and uh, she doesn't really like the water on her face she will cry a lot so i'm really excited that she's now really going to start swimming and she can get past that because there's no way you're going to swim that you don't want water on your face so the first 10 the first five to ten lessons is just going to be a sacrifice and um hopefully she can get through past that and so that we both can have like a a really good time when it comes to wash wash day when it comes to wash day but so far it's going good you know i like to take break in between if she's not feeling it um yeah just i just go with the flow reasons why i don't really show the entire process on when i'm when it's wash day or when i'm doing the hair because she cannot sit for a very long time so we take break in between to make it a little bit fun for me and her because sometimes when she's crying too much as a mom it can be a little bit frustrating when you see your child just crying 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 it's not that she's crying because the hair is tight no she just she just don't want to sit down <laughs> she just don't want to but when the hair when you finish with the hair oh my god she's happy she's excited she's touching the hair she's really really happy so yeah so after i do that i'm just going to wrap the hair with some plastic bag i always like to use plastic bag to wrap the hair and then i'll go in with a shower cap and i'll just allow her to do her thing so i always like to do this in the morning so that she can do whatever she needs to do the whole day she play around the house in the backyard and then later in the evening just right before dinner i will let her take shower i will wash the hair and then sunday morning that is when we start with the protective hairstyle because i know it's going to take a whole day so i make sure like these days when i know this weekend is going to be a, a weekend of hair day i make sure i cook uh one of the the weekly days so i don't have to go to the kitchen because it can be it can, it can be very frustrating when you have to cook clean house and it's a hair day so i really plan myself very well to make sure i also don't get um annoying <laughs> with the process but yeah so now i'm just going to let her to sit down and play and do her stuff and just have fun because this was this was like very early in the morning and uh, I think around, around 9, 9 to 9.30. And then later on in the evening, in the evening, right before dinner, now I'm going to wash the hair. This is what the hair is looking like. Her hair has grown out so much. I'm very, very excited and grateful like for the experiment that I've been doing, making my own DIY oil, making my own hair spray. And her hair has grown out so much so much i just can't wait to see more growth to see how long the hair is going to be i don't have a specific length that i want the hair to be i just want the hair to be healthy and i'm very grateful that the kids hair are very very healthy and beautiful so now we're going to wash and i always like to put the hair in a ponytail after finish washing so this is what the hair is looking like and then after that 
we went in for a protective hairstyle this was the protective hairstyle we did 